guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming to you with a simple affordable eyebrow tutorial I know there are a lot of products out there that you can't use that are very expensive and just starting out you may not have the money or the funds or the means to be able to go out and purchase these very expensive products just to get you know an enhanced brow so today I wanted to just run across some cheap products that I that I use on a daily basis to do my eyebrows. So the first one that I want to bring to you is the Wet n Wild um, Cold Crayon Eyeliner Pencil in the color Simma Brown Now. This is only a dollar from Family Dollar. Yeah, one dollar. A dollar. Yeah. And um, the next product, I'm just using a spoolie that I got from NYX. You can get one from ELF. ELF has um, a really good spoolie for just a dollar at Walmart. They also sell it at Target as well. Um, I have just a flat pencil that I would use to carve out my brow with my highlighter. And this here I got from a BH Cosmetics palette. But like I said, ELF also has a flat brush that you can use for a dollar. Um, my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee is what I use to highlight my brow. Um, this was only $1.99 or $2.99 at my local beauty supply store, so nothing expensive. One thing I did splurge on, which I use for um, multiple purposes, is my MAC Concealer in the color N NW50. Um, this color here I use if I don't want to really highlight my brow. If I want to clean it up but not have it, you know, stand out too much, I would highlight with this instead of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, yeah, this is this is what I use. Like if I'm going out or really want my eyebrows to stand out a little bit, I would use this. So the products that I'm using are very affordable, very easy to find, nothing too expensive. So you don't have to worry about that, but let's jump into this. First, I'm going to go ahead and take my, my pencil that I showed you guys earlier. And you want to always make sure that the tip of your pencil is sharp, as sharp as possible. You don't want it dull because it's not going to give you that, that line that you're looking for if it's dull. So if you feel like you need to sharpen it up, just go ahead and sharpen it up a little bit. I'm going to sharpen mine just to get it a little bit more pointy on the end. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in and to properly measure your brows so you know where to begin and where to end just take something such as this you know nothing too much just take this you want to place it here and this is where your brow will begin on this side here you will take it here and this will this is where your brow will begin on this side and to get the ending of where your brows should typically end you will take this and you would just put it here in the corner of your nose and you just go straight up. Sorry you guys, my camera cut off on me, but as you can see, I went ahead and just outlined the bottom of my brow and I went back in and outlined the top of my brow. And I'll just go in and do this side so you can see what I did. You just connect it down to the the um, line at the bottom. And I'm taking it up just a little bit to create an arc. Just bring it down. And you don't have to worry about it looking so harsh because you're going to go in and clean all that up anyway. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in and fill them in, but first let me make sure that everything is where it should be. And I'm not going to take the pencil color all the way to the front here because you don't want it too harsh. 
in the front. So. Now I'm taking some of that highlighter and I'm just going to start at the art of my brow and then drag the color inward. And I'm pulling, doing this in a pulling down motion. And now I'm just going to outline my brow with the, uh, with the product. I'm just gonna drag that put that product down. Now I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and just blend this color out. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to start at the arch of your brow because you don't want too much product in this area. You don't want too much product in the front of your brow. Then you're just going to bring this down. And now you're just going to outline your brow. And um, you don't need a lot of this product at all. A little goes a long way with this product here. So you just bring that product down. You want to take your fluffy brush and you're just going to blend that product out. And if you see some imperfections or something that you want to just clean up, you can just always just take some more of that in product and just go back in and just clean up with what it is that you need cleaned up. you guys nothing too hard nothing that you can't do And if you want to just clean up the top of your brow, um, you can just go in with and to clean the top of the brow, just go in with um, the concealer that's closest to your skin tone. And I'm going to be using my MAC NW50. Or you can use the highlighter at the top. You just have to make sure that you really blend that out because you don't want that ghostly look at the top at all. So I'm just going to clean off my flat brush here. Take some of that product and I'm just going to apply it at the top of my brow and just outline the same as you did at the with the um, bottom of your brow. Just take it and just outline. Just outline. And just blend it in. Blend, blend, blend. You can do the same with the other brow. Brow. And then you just blend that in as well. And 
then sometimes if my front is just still too boxy or I'll just take my fluffy brush here and I'll just kind of do it in a sweeping motion to knock some of that color off the front of my brow. And that is it you guys. And that is my brow tutorial and I hope you guys found this very helpful. Thanks for watching.